Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. So happy to have you here. So so nice of you to join us and so nice of you to like the stream. I saw some chatter before the stream started about not liking the stream and I'm just saying, no you will not. You will like the stream. It's not an option, it's not a request. What's up? <sighs> Mimi and Bill and Green and Skippy and Rexley and Smiling Ghost and uh, everything enthusiast and 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 Jess and microwave. We got a full house today, and uh, Aliha and Flanders uh, and and Jolly. What's going on, y'all? How's everybody doing? Big 2024 first stream. Yeah, here we go. It's 2024. This is the year that I hit 10 million subscribers and have sex with Mr. Beast on camera. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I think I just got myself demonetized two seconds into the stream. It's, it's lit, boys. I'm here for Bill. Well, fuck you, too. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Crones himself. Hey, Joe, how you doing? And Ninja, what's up, everybody? So glad to have you here. Um, uh, uh, so, so nice of you to join me today, and so nice of you to like the stream. Uh... There's only one less than a gram of francium in the world at any point in, a, in, in, in time. I watched a documentary about that. It was about that guy who faked a bunch of elements um, by that YouTuber whose name I don't remember. Uh, very good video essay. Very well done. But um, there's just a bunch of elements that like we have made, but they only exist for like milliseconds. Take them out on a date first at least. Well, it'll be, it'll be a whole thing. It'll be, it'll be Mr. Beast and I going on a date, um, discussing our feelings discussing our like families and then things get hot and heavy towards the end you know it'll be a whole thing it'll be great i'm looking forward to it jimmy and i are gonna have a great time you want to like where's my damn pizza that's not that's something i can control that has nothing to do with me so i wanted to i wanted to share something i i discovered with you guys i was um working on the thumbnail for that stream i just did where i was reflecting on the year and so I thought about using the thumbnail of that one video, the person uh, responding to my Demon Slayer video as part of the thumbnail. I didn't end up doing it, but while I was looking up that video, I discovered something else. <laughs> I, I, I discovered something else entirely. Basically, there is a guy on YouTube who, he's, he's a streamer, and he watched my Demon Slayer video and reacted to it live on stream for about two and a half hours, okay? Okay, two and a half hours. Another channel then streamed and did a reaction to his reaction for about eight hours. There's, it, there's two parts. There's a, there's a four hour long part and a four and a half hour long part. Which is, that's something. <laughs> that, that, that's certainly something. <laughs> so who gets paid then? You or the other guy he reacted to. They don't have to pay me. Um, yeah, it was interesting. I, I clicked on it for a bit and like, okay, so the guy that they're reacting to, he's called Triggered, which is an appropriate name. This dude just goes on insane ramblings about everything that I say. Like he is full cope mode, full seething mauled. He is pissed off. And the dudes reacting to the reaction, they, they like my video. They have my back. They're defending me. It's, it's, a really, it's really interesting to watch. I didn't watch a ton of it because I don't really like, I don't know, watching people just be pissed off about me. It doesn't really do much for me. But it's it's interesting to say the, to say the least. Can you show us a video? I'll I'll I'll, I'll pop I'll pop it open a little bit. I'll pop it open a little bit just to show you guys. This guy was genuinely fucking insane. Oh, they yeah used copyright music at the beginning, so I gotta skip ahead a bit. That the story yeah. crafted it like mm -hmm. this. I'm simply explaining the point here. I will say that triggered mist. This screenshot has been on for a little too long, <laughs> or not long enough. I want to. I want to hear some of the some of the guys' ramblings. I want. I don't like, wanna... Is he even reading the story at this point? He do, he do realize that the only reason these characters have the these. Did you really just do that, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hang on. I see the N word in their chat, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh... 
That doesn't surprise me, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop showing it. Sorry guys, I wanted to show you more of that, but I just saw the N-word and I'm not gonna leave that in there. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of like a a a a, a whole thing. But um, yeah, it was interesting to stumble upon that. This dude who was reacting to my video made it two seconds into the video until he found something to be upset about. Two seconds. <laughs> it's, it's actually crazy how pissed off he got over everything. Everything. So shout out to, um, I, I already forgot their channel name. I'm so sorry, but I think they're, they're, they're A-list or something like that. Give me one second to pull that back up. A-list exists. Shout out to A-list exists. Those guys are cool. Um, uh, they they uh, they 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 they're legends. This guy triggered is an insane person that I hope I never have the displeasure of speaking to um, for uh, any reason. Because Jesus Christ, like disagreeing with me is one thing. Being insane about it, <laughs> it's interesting. Is that speedrunning hating me? Oh, it is speedrunning in the sense that it took like two seconds to get pissed off. Your your video is suitable for all advertisers. What a goddamn shock. Every, um, let, me, let, me, let me rant for a second. Every short I have uploaded in the past like three weeks has gotten demonetized. And then I put it up for manual review and they all get re-monetized. So YouTube, maybe now would be a good time to look through your records and see that you have incorrectly flagged my shorts for two, three weeks now and stop demonetizing them. Because you, 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 you're proving yourself to be wrong constantly. Stop demonetizing my shit, bro. fucking insane it's a little crazy i actually can't believe it i <laughs> i feel like you you know you've made it when you have someone reacting to your video being reacted to by another reactor for eight hours that's kind of nuts though you know uh, your video is good i don't know if it needs citizen kane level analysis as a reaction apparently this guy that they react to is kind of a, a meme on their channel because he's so insane they have on more than one occasion reacted to his reactions because he's just like wrong about everything. And I don't use that word, I don't use that, that terminology lightly because ultimately it is opinions and everyone's entitled to their opinions and there's no such thing as an, a wrong opinion, but this dude is frequently with the L takes. I like checked out his channel and it's like only L takes basically. I have not watched Minoka Magica. I just want to say how much I love your hair. I've never seen a hairstyle like that before and it looks good. Well, thank you, Toot. That's very sweet. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Sometimes L takes make money. I don't, I don't like to make that claim. You know, maybe he's just doing it to like get the reaction um, and get and get the views, but I feel like you can't consistently make L takes without just having L takes. You can't you can't just keep doing that for money. I mean, maybe you could, I guess, but there's there's a commitment to that bit, so to speak, that feels very real in the way the dude talks. I'm all caught up on Don Don. Yeah, I've been I've been seeing you talking about it in in the Discord, and I'm I'm glad to see that. You 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 have come to the to the correct side of history and and decided that Don the Don is lit as fuck because lit because Don the Don is lit, and y'all need to check out Don the Don if you haven't already. Imagine being so strong about your favorite series that you got to spend eight hours whining, screaming, and pissing your pants like a bitch. This is why we got to differentiate anime fans from weebs. I don't know if we should gatekeep <laughs> like that. What's Don the Don about? Like, should I read it? It's about um. High schoolers fighting aliens and cryptids. And it's really good. Where's Idris? What the fuck? We're getting to it, Shiro. We're getting to it, Shiro. Like, I can't just show you the meat at the beginning of the meal. I got to give you a little, like, tease, tease, like, I guess a salad first. A salad to start with. You know what I mean? Hi, Baten san. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. 
It better not be Hoseki level depression. No, it's not a very deep story. It's 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 a very simple, straightforward shonen that's just super entertaining. It's Spider-Man is what I'm getting. I don't know about that, Rexley. I don't know anything about Toradora. <clears throat> If you react to Cringe Weeb, does that make you a Weeb fan? I don't know how to answer that question. We're getting too deep in this. Luna, please. She's back there sitting in uh, my roommate's lap. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Yes, I'm talking to you. You look very pretty over there. I'm great, Pedro. Thanks for asking. How are you? If we're reading it, I'm not looking forward to the anime because I know that normies on Twitter are going to ask for an first anime recommendations and people are going to be recommending Don to Don. I mean, Don to Don's going to have the same thing happen that Chainsaw Man happened. It's going to get a lot of hype from people like me who are fans of the series. People who take other people's opinions too seriously will watch it, say that it was overhyped, and that it's actually mid. It's, I'm calling it now. I, I, I absolutely guarantee, like, I, I'd love to believe that it'll get the recognition it deserves, but realistically speaking, the only series that get super popular and get, like, super beloved are the series that aren't hyped before they come out, like Demon Slayer. No one was talking about Demon Slayer before the anime came out. So it couldn't have been overhyped. But everybody who reads Don to loves Don to because Don to fucking lit. So people are going to hype it up. And people are going to subscribe to that hype and they're going to be disappointed because their their own version of what it should be is going to go beyond what it actually is. That's just the reality. I am a fan of Invincible. I love Invincible. I've read all the, the comics and, I'm, and, I, and I think the show is a pretty good adaptation overall. <clears throat> anyway, we'll get into some cyberpunk. It happens to everything. Everything, nothing can just be good anymore. Everything is, everything is mid. You're stupid if you like it. You shouldn't like things, actually. Just stop liking things, really. Liking things is cringe. Like One Piece, you're cringe. You like Bleach, you're cringe. You're Demon, Demon Slayer, you're cringe. You like Don to Don, you're cringe. JJK, Chainsaw Man, you're cringe. Berserk, you're into kids. Just stop liking things. Don't like anything. Don't like anything because if you do, it means you're a terrible person. That's what I've learned from uh, being on Twitter. Stop liking things. <laughs> I zoned in out and heard you're in the kids. <laughs> All right, we're cyberpunking it up. One thing I got to test right away. I, I, I have plugged back in my DualSense controller. Those of you who are on the last stream will know that the DualSense was drifting. Um, I did some testing. The controller itself isn't drifting. It's something with cyberpunk, and I looked up a potential fix, so we'll see if I can fix that. But can I like myself? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's the worst thing you can do. I need a vehicle. Give me one of the expensive ones. Like this car that the dealership told me there was only one of, and then I saw another one. I have not watched Hell's Paradise. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it's doing the drift thing again. So there is a setting I might be able to change that fixes that. Uh. If we go to the, is it the inner dead zone or the outer dead zone? I'm sorry for the burp. I um, decided I wanted to do that. Okay, so for the PS5 controller, it's a 0 0.15 for the inner dead zone, and that should supposedly fix the issue. Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. Now I can use the controller that I like. How, how did I just do that? I actually don't know how I did that. Oh, I'm shooting. I have a gun out. That's why I did that. <clears throat> I'm about to go to bed, but I just want to stop by and say hi and have a good day. Appreciate you, Frangulon. You're a legend. Thank you for liking the stream on your way out, too. I hope you sleep well. Will you play Just Cause 3? No. I mean, I've had it for years, but I don't really have an interest in playing it. <laughs> no, you're not sorry for the burp. If I was sorry, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> 
What uh, what what mission am I doing? Today? Okay, so after last after last stream, I played a little bit offline because I, I had uh, texts from Judy, and I just needed to respond to those. And I got a bunch of texts while I was doing it that I didn't read. So there's a just okay. There's another text from Judy already. Um, there are a lot of texts I have to deal with. Okay. Encart City Pass. Oh, that's probably the Metro Access. Who's Aaron? He's the boxing guy. I, I met him during the first stream of, of the DLC, I think. I got the DualSense etched. The drift is easier to fix. I don't. The controller isn't really drifting. It's just that the, the, like every controller has some degree of drift. But as long as there's a dead zone, it's fine. I, I think the the default settings for Cyberpunk are just set too too low. It's also not a brand new controller. This is like a three year old controller. How many books do you have? Uh, a, a good number. There's, I used to have, I had more before I moved. When I moved to uh, Oregon, I got rid of a ton of books. Let's see, I have, uh, I think 96 volumes of One Piece. I don't have every vo volume, volume of One Piece. I'm behind. There's that up, you probably can't see it actually. You guys can't see it. Uh, that The very top book there is the last volume the last magazine that a chapter Kentaro Miyata worked in worked on is in. That's uh, the one underneath it is uh, a collection of One Piece color pages. Then below that we have a bunch of comics. Those are all comics. I just picked up Saga Volume Ten. Saga Volume Ten was really good, uh, and I'm going to pick up Saga Volume Eleven because I'm really behind on that. Uh, Green got me the Chainsaw Man box set, which I have sitting down there next to it. Actually, I should show you guys this book. Let me pick it up. I'll be right back. I don't really read novels. And <laughs> Son of Hitler was not a light novel. That was a graphic that was a graphic novel. Um <clears throat> uh, this is uh the I, I was walking around a bookstore, uh a used bookstore, and I found this really cool book. It's um it's evolution of the Japanese. It is a, I believe, a Japanese history book from the perspective of a British or a, a, a Brit or an American from 1905. This is this is a fucking this this book's over 100 years old, and I I really wanted to get it because I thought like the perspective of a foreigner in Japan pre World War II had to be super interesting. So I haven't actually read this book yet, but I, I thought it was really cool, so I picked it up, and it is it is old. This thing is old. So, still waiting for when you will talk about Jiko Kuraku. I don't know anything about it. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Hey Ezekiel, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hell's Paradise. Okay, I haven't read Hell's Paradise. I don't know anything about it. Sorry guys. Um. Other than that, let's see, I have the Berserk. So Green got me the uh, that like Berserk guide book, which is like a separate book outside of the manga. It's it's uh, it just like has a bunch of world info and like character biographies. I found out recently that apparently that book was like written by the publisher and was not like run past the authors. And there's a bunch of information in there that is just wrong. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I have. Volume 1 of Chainsaw Man, alongside my Chainsaw Man box set, I have uh, Lost at Sea, which is a book by Brian Lee O'Malley, who uh, made Scott Pilgrim. I also have Snot Girl, which is a, a comic also made by the, the author of Scott Pilgrim. I also have all the Scott Pilgrims, uh, a volume of Nisekoi, a couple volumes of Ranma, one half, a book called Seconds, which is also by the author of <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. I really like Brian Lee O'Malley. He makes good books. Um... Manga in Theory and Practice by Hiroiko Araki. My Immortal. I have a print edition of My Immortal for those of you that know what that is. That, what that is. Trust Me, I'm Lying, which is a marketing book and a, a, a historical book about the Yakuza, which is fascinating. Luna has entered the desk. She is on the desk. Do you have the Greenbelt book? I don't know what that is. I'll show you guys, I, I wanna, I'll show you guys some, uh, uh, some of my, my Brian Lee O'Malley books. Because... Uh, he has a lot of other works that aren't talked about much that I really like. Okay. Luna, I'm trying to sit I'm trying to sit here. 
She's taking the chair. Do you mind? I'm trying to stream here. Oh, the spinoff book about Grunbelt. I forgot about that. No, I wanted to read that, but I haven't. Can I have this back, please? Thank you. <laughs> Luna is the streamer now. Okay. So the first book I have is called Lost at Sea. It's kind of like the equivalent of a one-shot. Um, it's, uh, it's just a single book thing. I honestly don't remember it that well, but uh, this is like pre-Scott Bil pre Pilgrim, Brian Lee O'Malley. So you can see it, it still has like his older art style. I remember it being good, but I don't, I don't remember it that well. Um, I think it's kind of about, I don't know, a girl dealing with her identity, I guess. Um, there's also Seconds, which is also a, a Brian Lee O'Malley book. This one was written after Scott Pilgrim, so his art style more closely matches what you would see in Scott Pilgrim. It's really good. I love Seconds. Seconds is super good. Um, it's an interesting book. It's, it's about a girl finding out that the attic in her house there's like a spirit living up there that can rewrite events and change how things happened and she abuses that power until she's no longer happy with her life and realizes she has to accept her decisions and live with them if she wants to be happy that one's really good and then this one's interesting so this one's called snot girl which is not an attractive name it's uh it's written by brian leo malley but it is not uh illustrated by him it's illustrated by leslie hung so the art style is completely different. Uh, this one's super interesting. It's it's about like <laughs> an influencer girl who has like bad allergy issues, who gets wrapped up in like a murder mystery. It's a wacky series. I actually am not caught up with it. I'm like several volumes behind, but it is it's pretty good, uh, and the art is fantastic. Um, some of the like social media influencer heavy shit is like super outdated at this point because I don't remember when volume one came out, but it was like 2017. Uh, 2017, yeah, it was 2017, so it's a bit outdated in that aspect, but it's it's still a good series. <laughs> Luna's oppressed. <laughs> Luna is so spoiled, you don't understand. Where's my allergic VTuber SMH? There's some of it that's like still pretty relevant. Like you have like several different like influencer girls in the series who all have like a, a different way that they go about it. Like you have one who's like in her late thirties, but yeah, this is her like dresses like a Lolita and is all about the like Lolita style shit like that, which is very real. <laughs> it's a good series. It's, it's really, there's an interesting juxtaposition behind like the main character's double life as like an influencer who's trying to like hide her, hide her horrible, horrible allergies and then like the murder mystery that's going on. I need I need actually need to reread it because I don't remember it that well, but it was really good. You should read an Italian comic called Monster Allergy. It's about this boy who can see invisible monsters that no one else, no one else can see, and he has to be a tame a tamer to catch them. That sounds like a very generic manga plot. Actually, I think I there's there's a there's a new manga in Jump that's basically that. Uh, except the monsters aren't really invisible, but it's kind of close. What's it called? I can't even remember the name because it's not very noticeable shadow eliminators i actually kind of like shadow eliminators it's not that bad but she's not the killer she's just involved in the murder mystery i'll be right back Okay, so there's my there's my book collection. Oh, and I also have I forgot about those two, but Devil Man and Uzumaki, both of which were gifts from Green that I have not read yet, <laughs> but I do, I do need to. <laughs> Hi, Kay. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for liking on your way, and I appreciate that. All right. Well, uh, sorry for the the derail. Although you guys probably appreciated it nonetheless. Um, we'll get into the video game now. Aaron's the boxer guy who uh, I think needs help. Greg Heffley, best antagonist. Alex, who's Alex? Hey V, Reed tells me slide is a flat line. What happened there? Oh, she's the she's the other she's there's there's Reed and then there's Alex and there's Song. 
Those are the three people I'm interacting with for the DLC so far. Devil Man has like eight different anime and like a bunch of different manga. It's it's a crazy series and it has the best English dub ever. Thoughts on JJK? It's all right. Don't go looking for a friend in Reed, not him or anyone at the agency. We're a bad influence. I like Reed. Maybe maybe because he's he's Idris Elba. Maybe that's the only reason, but. <laughs> hey, Shadow. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for liking on your way in. I appreciate that. Can I get your thoughts on Chance Man? Might you do a video? I don't know anything about Chance Man. American Animal Defenders <laughs> Associate. Dear Mies V, thank you once again for your timely assistance in rescuing the American short hair you've recently encountered. We're delighted to inform you that Dear Mittens has made her way back to Washington safe and sound and is now in a caring, loving home. Did I save a cat? I don't remember saving a cat. Did I save a cat? G good. I don't remember saving a cat, though. Chat game is this? This is cyberpunk. <clears throat> Favorite Pokemon? I don't. I can't, I can't remember any of them well enough to tell you. I'm sure I have one. I really like that that one Lit Litwick. I really like the little candle guy. Oh, that one's cute. I'm trying to find a way inside, but it's not looking good. Hanson's an old dog, well trained and experienced. Heavy security presence, all ins and outs, locked up tight. Building's a damn monolith. No ideas as of yet. What they don't have, minotaurs, wyverns, exoskeletons, snipers, person, watchtowers. Either we got some ironclad intel or the conventional way is out. What don't they have? I misread that, but. Okay, so I need to do, do some jobs for Mr. Hands so that I can get into the, the, the party. Which I actually appreciate them uh, linking things up to that the, the, the plot that way. Linking up your association with the fixers to the plot in that way. Hey Panda, how you doing? I'd like to see your opinions on World Trigger and how it used its large cast and a community that it is constantly fighting competitively while also friendly. I don't know anything about World Trigger, sorry. I'm really hoping for a JJK video, it's all good though. I just don't, I don't really have anything interesting to say about JJK. I think it's an all right series. I think it does action really well. I think the story and characters are kind of meh, but that's about it. I don't have anything that, that much to say about it, unfortunately. I try to limit my videos to, uh, to, you know, when I have something that I think is valuable to say about stuff. Appreciate you, Pedro. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. When don't you have a bad feeling, Johnny? You're nothing but bad feelings. Hey, looking for someone. Name's Aaron. Jim's the size of a cow cars truck. Wayne's the boxer. Sure, he was here. He was. He said where he was going. Nah. Two guys came in to see him a while back. That's all. Two guys? Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. Animals. Not good. Seem to be going for a smoke in the alley. Might still catch him. Uh oh, I'm gonna find Aaron dead around the corner. <clears throat> What's your favorite game? It's a toss up between Monster Hunter World and Dark Souls 3. Oh, who's calling me now? Carrie? What does Carrie want? Hey, Carrie. We quit. I thought we took care of it. Oh, the, all right, the people. They just postponed the game. Meet me outside the club. Little push didn't work. Now we got a shove. Joey. All right. See you outside the club. Bring your heat. Good. Killing people. 
I had no feelings for our Vinland Sagas slash Berserk, but your vids on them are, were enrapturing. Well, I appreciate that, Bob Tens. I'm, I'm really glad to hear you like them. I'm super happy. Is the game good now? Yes, I think uh, Cyberpunk 27-7 is excellent after the 2.0 update. And uh, Phantom Liberty is saying pretty good, too. Is he alive? On, Take heart. Guy tried to do I don't right think so. For once in his life. You don't feel a thing. Heard this song before, V. Know the lyrics by heart. So, are we just gonna leave him here, or... Oh, I bet this is the direct result of my actions, because I um, murdered the people that were, like, sponsoring him. This is uh, probably supposed to show me that this is my fault. Oops. Oh, are these guys gonna give me a hard time now? Now we're good. All right, I have to do different gigs then. Balls to the walls. Okay. I have to do, do I have to do jobs for Mr. Hands just anywhere or specifically in Dogtown? Either way is fine. Did I get another text? Oh, it's just Judy. So what's everyone been up to today? Tell me about your days, everybody. Yeah, that's probably my fault that the that, that Aaron's dead. Um whoops. Whoopsie, my bad. People die. What what can you say, huh? At least three gigs. I don't think it needs to be dogtown specific. Okay, they they sent me some jobs. which I'm heading towards one of them right now. I think I have COVID, so I have that going for me. F, L actually, F and L at the same time. I'm pressing them at the same time, actually. Sorry about that, bro. Just got off work farming mats for the guild raid. I should uh, get myself involved in that. Oh, I have to, should I log into to WoW Classic so I can collect my holiday gift, everyone? I think these guys are gonna give me a hard time. Sure seems like it. That's why we do one of these. What the, what the hell is this guy wearing? Oh, okay. Hang on, I'm getting shot at. Hang on. Okay. No need for that. I'm drawing right now for the first time this year. Well, not the first time you drew my thumbnail. Oh wait, it's 2024, that's what you meant. Haha, <laughs> I get it. What are you drawing then? Switch to, the, the, switch to WoW for the, afternoon, for the afternoon while you're at it. You just want me to do a, a WoW stream? Guys, I, I did a, I've talked about this before. I did a WoW stream way back in the day and it was probably one of the worst streams I've ever done. It was so fucking boring. When I was like a three, three viewer Andy. Drawing Lloyd and you're being lovey dovey. Oh, that sounds cute. You're gonna post this? You haven't really been posting a lot lately. <coughs> Why can't I loot these things? Oh, whatever. I haven't played Cyberpunk since launch. This makes me want to play it. It's it, the 2.0 update really improved the game. Like, if you thought the game was good at the time, which I wouldn't blame you, I thought it was all right. I didn't love it, but I, I thought it was all right. But if you thought it was good at the time, it's it's fantastic now. Yu Yu show is so good, every time I watch it, I relive my nostalgia. Sally, most people in this generation do not know about this legendary anime. I watched Yu Yu show way back in the day, but I don't really remember it that well. I remember liking it, but don't remember it that well. Yeah, not like we got better shit to do than spend precious time on some teeny bopper gang drama. We, we need to do this for so we can like do the other important things, Johnny. Did you not understand the context of the, uh, this us doing this? Did you miss that part of the story? Were you not listening, buddy? Fucking idiot. Fucking jackass Keanu Reeves. Shut up, idiot. Shut up, dead guy. Shut up, dead man. Shut the fuck up, idiot. 
Aki video one. You want me to do an entire video on Aki? I mean, I could, but I hadn't thought about it. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Just to keep making good videos and, and try to get more efficient at it. Want to see this through, Johnny? Shut it. Uh-huh. Setting our own pups against us? Do you think that makes you fucking clever? Gonna regret I'll this. teach you not to fuck what with you. What is, what is happening? Hang on. No, hang on. Oh, these are the guys I was supposed to help earlier. You remember the guys? They, I told them they should frame this guy. Seems like it didn't work very well. That's okay. I can deal with them. Any last words? Guy's pretty tough. Not gonna lie. He's taking a lot of shots to the face. Goddamn. It hurts, huh? You want to talk about this, or um, you want to have a chat about what just happened? Give the old pockets a pick and a poke. Might get a lead on those kids. The digital generators in the truck. Good job getting some spares. Have the kids drive them to the hospital. They're not available anymore. Rookie clipped them when we let him drive alone. Little Torres guy. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Handle him. Public display? Put his body under the needle. I want those generators back. Understood? Yes, boss. Won't happen again. You better hope so. What a bunch of assholes. Found out. Paco's likely hanging somewhere as a warning. Damn it. Is that literally John Wick himself? Yes, Fuck that is. God. Yes, it's, it's Keanu Reeves. Fucking train wreck. Jim could be alive by some miracle. I still stand a chance. Wish I could turn Johnny off sometimes. Yeah, I'm in the camp that I don't think Keanu does a good job playing the role, but I don't dislike him. I do like Johnny generally. I just think he could have been played a lot better. Yeah, that guy probably would have been a lot harder for somebody that didn't have a Santa Vista and, and, like, all the firepower in the world. My build is just built around being a goddamn nightmare for anything I come, come across, so it was just unfortunate for them. I do want to steal that car. Hey, y'all. Yeah, I pressed the button to fire the bullets, but they didn't come out. Sorry about that, guys. Captain Mac is the sexiest content creator. This was discovered in, in a study in New Mexico back in 2017. That's when I started my channel, so that's lore accurate. <laughs> I like it. That's factual. All right, be flipping you the course. This little crew. Give me, give me my, give me my music. You know what I want. There it is. Very eager to swap hands. Oh, damn it. Not a good time to run somebody over. If I try to pass through the blockade while then wanted by the police, is that is that going to be a bad thing? Should I wait? Should probably wait. How close is that cop? Kind of close. Back away. I think we're, I think we're good. It's gonna it's gonna wear off in a second. There we go. So he hasn't watched Hunter. I should probably pay attention to the road instead of when I'm driving. <laughs> Hunter Hunter, I mean his fave of all time. You think you think it would become my favorite of all time? Because I I kind of doubt it. What are the police gonna do? Stop you? I mean, that's the plan, yeah. That's certainly what they want to do, but the police in Night City are remarkably ineffectual, which actually makes sense when you consider how much is on their plate. I did not like the art style of Heart Toys Hunter. I, I hate the character designs, especially, but I am I am willing to look past. You know, uh, I, I'm I'm very willing to look past art style that I don't like for a good story. It's just I read the first few chapters and I I was super not into it. But I don't know. Everyone speaks so highly of it. I know I have to give it an, another chance and a, a more fair chance than just reading a couple chapters. So 
Sounds good, Batansan. Good luck with the art commissions. Make that money. Oh wait, Yu Yu Hakusho was done by the same person as 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 Hunter X Hunter. I didn't know that that was the same author. It's kind of wacky. It's kind of silly, kind of funny. Hunter X Hunter Hunter had art has a sudden jump for crazy for impactful moments and then goes back to normal. Don't you think One Piece significantly drops in quality after Alabasta? I mean, Skypia isn't very good, but after that, no. Annie's Lobby is my favorite arc, and there's plenty of other great arcs after that. I would very much disagree with that statement. If anything, I would say Alabasta isn't even that good compared to the rest of the story. If we're talking, like, favorite arcs, Alabasta isn't even in the top five for me. I think I'm going up on this ramp here. Let's see, I have about a minute and a half to drive 175 kilometers, but it's up a bunch of hills. Ooh. Our style matters to me, the story could be amazing, but if the art's ugly, it's gonna be hard getting through it without quitting halfway, if not sooner. It's, it is important, I just try not to let it, like if it's an art style that I, I don't love, I'm not gonna, I, I try to not let it get me down. Excuse me. I have a vehicle to deliver in the next minute and I have 175 meters to go still. <laughs> Pardon me. All right, this is a pretty pretty safe, pretty easy car delivery. Not gonna lie to me. You got a gift. I think I got a gift. This is Thanks for the help. Oh, My chum will do the finishing touches. Check the drop point, your reward. Just don't spend it all on XPDs and glitter. Don't tell me how to spend my money. Find Paco's body. Okay, so he is he is dead, and that's my fault. I'm getting a lot of people killed today, which is pretty cool. What car do I want? Um give me the uh, give me the outlaw. Oh, I accidentally took both cars. I'm gonna drive the outlaw. Got a favorite food, sir, Mac? I love me a good cheeseburger. I'm very American like that. Okay, I just got police on me, so I must have accidentally killed that person. <laughs> that car accident going 25 miles an hour. No need to apologize, Ziva. I'm just glad you're here. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for liking it on your way in. That was very sweet of you. The Babirusa is an animal with tusks that keep growing in their skulls because the one with the bigger tusks fucked the most. We think evolution is always a smart process. Yeah, evolution is great, guys. Evolution is lit. How it um, left, left us with wisdom teeth. That was cool. Favorite French fry with your burger? Like, what is my favorite French fry? Are we talking like specific restaurant or style? If we're talking style, I, I, I love a good steak fry. If we're talking restaurant, then nothing beats steak and, steak and shake fries. Yeah, the appendix. We don't need those either. You're right about that, Rexley. Hey, Kiram, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for liking on the way in. I appreciate that. Let's 
Skype felt like a break after a big bad now, but that's what the amount of stuff to look back on now is crazy. I don't think Skypea is bad even as my least favorite character in the series. And that's the thing though. When I say I don't like Skypea, it's in the context of the rest of One Piece, right? Compared to the rest of the story, I think it's very weak, but compared to other stories, Skypea is still very strong. You know what I mean? There's no part of One Piece that I actively dislike, except for the like 10 chapters of Long Ring Long Land. I do fucking hate Foxy and the, the Davy back fight. That was one hell of a glitchy car. Um, but Skype is still very good. It's just, it's the part of the story that I enjoy reading the least. Do you go for small fry or the big fry first? Which one do you finish last? And what exactly angle do you grab the fries? This is a lot of questions. I just, I just eat the fries. I don't have a fucking strategy to it. I just grab fries and put them in my mouth hole. Oh, I love, I love the Katsukuri fight. People give Whole Cake too much shit. I thought Whole Cake was a really fun arc. There's nothing the optimal rotation figured out yet. I think I just love fries more than all of you, to the point that I don't have to differentiate between the small fry or the big fry. I just like them all. Y'all are y'all are fry racists. You you have you have preferences. You you you're you're uh, discriminating in the fry world. I'm just I'm just out here like, hey, they're all they're all fries, baby. I don't know why anybody skips anything. Yuki. Skipping things in a story is a very dumb thing to do. It, it's there for. There's also you know there's there's people who do that dumb shit where they, I wonder if it's I wonder if it's him. I wonder if it's that guy. It wants me to search the area. I'm pretty sure it's him. <laughs> But you know, you, you have, I remember once my friend uh, uh, Ina made a video about JJK and about how she didn't like certain parts of it and, and somebody in the comments was like, cause you, you read it in the wrong order. You're supposed to start here. Like, no, the author wrote it a specific way for a specific reason. There's no wrong order to read the fucking series. Read it from chapter one and finish it the most recent chapter. Don't read the fucking series out of order. What are you doing? How do I, I can't remember, how do I scan again? Shit, I don't remember. That wasn't it. That might get the police called on me. <laughs> what's the What's the scan button? I'm, I'm thinking like it's, it's Starfield and Starfield is F. I don't remember the button in this game. Tab, that's it. Oh, look at you judging. If Hanson suspected her, she'd be swinging up there too. Maybe. Who knows? Reading a story in chronological order is dumb. Yeah, that's what the person, that's what the commenter said. They were like, you have to start with Gojo's backstory. Like, no, it's set later into the story for a fucking reason. Like reading this series in chronological order, I get important information that I don't want to miss. The, the point is for you to learn this stuff later though. That's the point. You're supposed to learn it later. It gives, it recontextualizes things that are, that happened earlier in the story. Whatever. You can read the series however you want. Just don't tell other people that they're reading it wrong if they don't. Message Babs? Why is her name Babs? Alex tried leveraging some contacts. All busts. One officer willing to open a back door for us suddenly went dark. Probably choking on dirt or salt water by now. Got my own who could give us an outside chance, but that son of a bitch is best at what he does. Not wanting to be found. Everything okay? You all right? Hey V, how'd it go? You got a Sitch sorted? Paco told me not to go with him because it's his mess and he want to sort this Yuri shit himself. Know what's up with Paco? Dumbass ain't replied and got me worried big time. That goof got me the end of me. 
I'm sure he's okay. <laughs> Smart to see. I'm just gonna lie to her. Give him time. He'll sort himself out. Maybe you're right. Swear I'm gonna whoop his ass because he could should have just asked for help and not trying to be a hero or something. And now going radio silent. Whatever. Got a got him a flight to Kenya. All savings gone. But hey, that's life. <laughs> you okay? All right, Gwendolyn, I'm going to go ahead. I don't often like argue with people about One Piece because it's annoying, but I'm going to go ahead and argue with you on this. One thing I hate about One Piece is how if you're a straw hat pirate that isn't Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, then you're just irrelevant to the story. Like, when was the last time Chopper was important? You are thinking specifically in terms of fighting, and many of the straw hats do not have roles as fighters on the crew. Did Chopper not solve a fucking ice oni plague during Wano? Did, did Chopper not solve a plague in Oden? Did Chopper not bring Big Mom to Oden? Chopper did plenty of things in Wano. Chopper was very relevant in Wano. Frankie fixed the ship in Wano. Frankie fixed a bunch of ships in Wano. Nami makes sure they get places without dying. Robin is, you know, there to read the Poneglyphs and, and help them find Laugh Tale. Like, every character has a very important role even if they aren't fighting. <laughs> they just do things that aren't fighting. Listen, I'd love to see Frankie in more fights. I love seeing Frankie fight, but he doesn't have that kind of role on the crew. He's a shipwright. He's not a fighter. Just sing the One Piece rap at SMH. <laughs> Which is what makes everything rereading, rewatching stories fun. You notice know, foreshadowing on a rerun. Yeah, I love that. On my way to Kenya, Chum for orbital air did me a solid. Paco should be too. So if he calls, you tell him to report to An Anika. We'll know what that is. Take care, V. Also, fuck Dog Town. Okay, well she's getting out of the country. That's good. Even Jinbei has an important role. Yeah, Jinbei has a very important role. Dude's a killer helmsman. And Brooke plays music. I guess he's there too. This is a joke. Yeah, but but dude, Brooke was the MVP of of Whole Cake Island, you know? Of of the whole cake arc capello go arc. Brooke, Brooke was the goddamn MVP. That dude fucked hard. What other jobs has he got? Okay, here, okay. All right, let's do this one. Let's do some, I, I could steal this car. It's just sitting there waiting to be yoinked. Might as well. See, I want to unlock the other cars. So that means I have to um, steal this. What the fuck's going on? Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, all right? Hope you don't mind. All right, all right, it's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. There's a fast vehicle. I can get out of this town right quick before anybody. Fa Why did they leave the car unlocked? I know you had a bodyguard sitting there, but you shouldn't have left the damn thing unlocked. <laughs> what are you doing? I love how the game just forces you to slow down here. Uh -oh. One Piece sounds interesting, but 1,088 episodes and 107 volumes sounds like too much to cap catch up on. It really isn't. I mean, did you watch my adaptation video? A, a big thing that I, a, a big point that I tried to make in that video is that One Piece is not as long as people make it out to be. It is long, but it's not like incomprehensibly long. It's not impossible to catch up on long. And it's not about catching up. One Piece is about the journey and the journey is fun the whole way. So, you know, if, if you're, there for the journey, if you're there for the adventure rather than there for catching up, you're gonna enjoy it. Can you fucking not do that? I'm going out in the goddamn desert with this one. I think Smiling Ghost, if you didn't watch the One Piece live action, you could try watching that, and if it seems interesting to you, you may want to consider reading the manga. I don't think the, the live action is a good adaptation, and I think that if you watch the live action and you become interested, you still need to read the manga from the very beginning, because they made a lot of changes. 
and they, they, they did a lot of things very differently. And so you're going to be really missing out on all the details if you don't watch it, and, uh, if you don't read it from the very beginning. But if you watch the live action and you like it, it's a good way to indicate whether or not you'll be into One Piece as a whole. Because it does, it does carry the heart of One Piece pretty well. So if, if that's a little more approachable way for you to get into One Piece, maybe consider that. There's honestly an untapped market of video ices about how good the Funimation dub is. Uh, disagree. <laughs> Luffy's voice actor makes me, my ears want to. M Luffy's voice actor, Luffy's voice actor makes my ears bleed. Sorry, I can't speak today. Apparently, but that's what I was trying to say. Why is me so peaceful? Because I've got the jazz radio on. There's a bunch of different um, uh, uh, radio stations in the game, but I always just listen to the jazz one. Luffy sounds like Gohan with lung cancer. <laughs> uh. Even Zero feels like a space pirate adventure instead of looking for the One Piece. You're instead there for the mother of the cosmos. Oh my. You know what else really bugs me about the dub of One Piece is Frankie's voice actor. I know Frankie's voice actor in, in Japanese is is unique, like extremely unique, but he sells that character so well. And then in the dub, he just has like a, a generic tough guy voice, and I, I hate it. It doesn't sound like Frankie at all. It's so it's so wrong. Frankie's Japanese voice actor is like so flamboyant and and eccentric and excitable and that fits the character perfectly and then you go to Funimation and it's it's it's, it's I believe it's Goku's voice actor with putting on a tough guy voice it's, it sucks You played Blasphemous? No, I have not. I've heard it's pretty good, though. I couldn't remember who it was, but he's he's a voice actor that does a few different dubs, and like he's he's okay. He kind of sounds the same in every role. I have read Claymore. Claymore was all right. I wasn't like super into it, but I did like it. It's been a couple years since I read that. Pardon me, everybody. That's pretty close to me, but there's not usually anything inside those things that I actually want, so... Found my friendly ghost, but it was a non-start or another dead end. Alex and I have exhausted all reasonable options, V. So if you can't get anything op operable from Mr. Haynes, we have no choice but to resort to a half-baked plan with half-baked aliases. Not ideal. I trust you understand the stakes. If they catch on while we're still inside, Hansel Citadel will never walk out. I don't know. Have you seen the cannon on my arm? It's pretty strong. The art I thought would be a right on the mark for you. I did like the art of Claymore quite a bit. Um, I struggled to tell the difference between a lot of the characters because they all looked kind of samey, but like the designs of the monsters was really good. The name's from the sword, Iki. <laughs> Isn't it not that the security scan isn't like, hey, wait a minute, this car is smart and the police network is stolen? I mean, I, I had stolen it minutes earlier. You are totally 
So I don't I don't know if they would have had that information so quickly. Got any overarching takes on the Zelda franchise? No, I've only played three Zelda games. Well, actually four, but I didn't finish Tears of the Kingdom. They're 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 like whatever you know. Tear, Twilight Princess was, was like all right. I I did really enjoy Link Between Worlds. Breath of the Wild I thought was amazing. Tears of the Kingdom failed to like keep my interest as well as Breath of the Wild did, but. I wouldn't say I'm like a massive Zelda fan the way other people are. And while I haven't played Ocarina of Time, I have a feeling that when I do, I will not see the magic in it that other people do because from my perspective, it seems to be extremely dated in, in its design philosophies. So I don't think I'll enjoy it, but. I do not read Manwa. V. A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, we'll that would just be another day in Dogtown. Until I receive word from Zeta Tech CEO. You're dated. <laughs> the transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their sick. Go to the scav's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. Running over your Nintendo boy then, or which brand did you come off, up off? I was definitely a Nintendo guy, but I didn't really play video games a ton. Um, I didn't really become like a gamer until like my teenage years. Before that, like I, I, I had like Nintendo handhelds, like I do Game Boy and uh, DS and all that stuff. But other than that, like I didn't play video games much. Okay, so sneaking in here into the scab den. Oh, no need to see me. I mean, it'll end up going loud anyway, but it's always fun to see how far I can get stealth. I'm not hitting that guy with one shot. These other two I might get. See, the, the sanity is good because if you're if you're stealthing, you might be able to get two people in one shot, which is kind of fun. There we go. What the fuck? This is one hardy camera, Jesus. Oh, come on. Hit him. Oh, my God. All right, fuck it. We're going loud. Fine by me. Little bit of loud never hurt nobody. Excuse me. Someone's trying to hack me through you, so I have to make sure you aren't alive anymore. I'm just going to disarm this mine if that's okay with everybody. Excuse me. Can you stop firing bullets into my body? I don't really appreciate it. Fuck the beach. Excuse me, what did you just say about me? That was very rude and uncalled for. I would ask you to never use that language in referring to me again. Do you understand? me I don't mean to be rude but your head looks like it's still attached to your shoulders I'll take care of that no problem <laughs> pardon me oh I don't mean to be rude I simply don't need you to be alive anymore hello I think I got him on <laughs> Hi, fan artist. Welcome to the stream. I think I think I already said hello to you. I have not watched Apothecary Diaries. I wanted to bring it up the other day. I dare 
Do you need something? Come back! I thought we were hanging out! Hey! Oh, crap, there's a bunch of other guys in here. He was running away to his friends, I understand that. What a coward. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That thing is hurting me. Is this Bioshock? No. No, it is not. But it is rad. I like to imagine the last thing these NPCs hear your words sped up to 10 times due to Santa Vista. And they probably do. They probably have no idea what I'm saying. They just know they're in trouble. All they see is a blur running toward them, shouting <laughs> in fast motion. I mostly just want to get the red stuff. I don't really care about that. Sounds like crap. But at the same time, I do be looting. We out here looting. I, I almost have my, my weight capacity at full. I always just collect stuff until my weight limit gets close. My weight limit's really high because it's a strength build, so it takes a long time to get there. Shout how anime takes when you land the killing blow. <laughs> Black Clover is mint! That's not really a hot take, actually. That's a pretty lukewarm take at this point. Even, even when Black Clover came out, people weren't, like, into it. There's a very small community of people that are that are into Black Clover. Otherwise, everyone seems to be on the same page that it's, like, pretty, pretty, pretty iffy. There's something under the car! Yes, I got it. Black Clover is enjoyable. That's debatable. Snot Girl looks like the JoJo art style, but more easy on the eyes. Although I didn't see need to see snot running down her lips. <laughs> so that's that. It's part of the character. It's supposed to look gross. I need, I need to catch up on that one. I'm super behind on a lot of my American comics. Like I said, I just picked up volume 10 of Saga. Saga is a phenomenal comic series for those of you that are into comics. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm two volumes behind be, and because they fucking killed off one of my favorite characters and I was upset about it, so I didn't read it for a couple of years. <laughs> it's not why. I just uh, there, weren't, there weren't any more volumes out at the time. But uh, it's very good. I also need to uh, pick up more volumes of um, Deadly Class because I'm very behind on that one too. It's not part of her character development. I mean, yeah, in a sense. I feel like this is the first time there's been an outward facing elevator. It's kind of see cool to see us going up. Hello! I'm looking for a shipment. My my mail got lost by the USPS. I was hoping you might know where my package is. Pardon me! I don't mean to be rude. I just had a question. I don't intend to intrude on you for long, my friends. I, I simply would never mean to do that. <laughs> hey! Who's hacking me? Was it you? He's kind of beefy. There's a lot of upper level to this area. How do I get up there? Probably climb up this way, eh? Hey! It's dark up here, guys. You guys need some lights on, huh? How about some muzzle flash? How about that? Will that do? You guys think? Hey. Pardon me. Hey! We were talking! You know the one that keeps trying to hack me? Because I gotta say, not fucking cool. 
Any games you're hyped for? Moss on our wilds. That's that's gonna be my answer for the next uh, like year and a half until the game comes out. Monster Hunter Wilds. Can't wait for Monster Hunter Wilds. Super excited about Monster Hunter Wilds. Hoping it won't um, uh, fail to deliver. But probably not, because Capcom's been, been on a winning streak the past couple years. My first American comic is the director's cut of The Last Ronin. Uh, yeah, Last Ronin is pretty lit. I, uh, I'm excited to see what, what kind of game they're going to make out of it. Hopefully it'll be good. You're carrying too much! I have reached my inventory limit. This is so sad. I also have a level up, apparently. No, I don't. I have one perk point. I probably got it from leveling up some skill. Do you think the ability to smell the future is useful? Very. Absolutely. 100%. I, I'm, I'm at a point right now where I just don't even know what to spend my points on anymore because I just, I, I like have everything that I want. I guess I don't have this LMG skill, because I don't really use the LMG that much, but might as well. There are some people who are very hyped about the Dragon, Dragon's Dogma 2 in, 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 in the, the community, such as Billiam. I personally never played um, the original, so don't know anything about it. This is... Oh, it's a good bit better than my gun. Uh... Was there a reason I was using this one in particular? I, can, I think I can uninstall these mods. No, I can't, never mind. Got a new shotgun. I can just put new mods on it. There are new pistols that, are, that I've collected that are good. When it comes to the pistols, I'm going purely for damage. It, it, because I, I only use them when I'm in stealth, so I need something that A, I can put a silencer on, and B, that de does a decent single-shot damage. These things are up to 84. I should pull the silencer off to the one I was using before. I don't remember which one it was now. Uh, might have been this one. Yep, let me pull the silencer off of there. Because I need that. I need that silencer. Even better, even nicer. Want to play Stellar Blade? Looks good. <clears throat> I don't know anything about that. Opinions on From Software? I love From Software games. They're fun as fuck. The only Japanese comic I got invested in is Monster Allergy, Scott Pilgrim, and the Plant vs. Zombies one when I was in like fourth and fifth grade. I was uh, I was more into American comics than I was for manga for a few years. I, w I was reading a lot of or maybe not American, but English comics than I was manga for a while. But uh, haven't really invested a ton of time into them s since then. I did read all of Invincible, and now I'm trying to catch back up with Saga and, and Deadly Class. Actually, I, I want to get more back into them again, and oh, I have a lot of crap in my inventory. Uh, <laughs> Let me sort by DPS and just do that. These suck. These are way worse than the one I was using before. Um, LMGs. We got any good LMGs? Any LMGs in the house? I had I had an issue playing the main game. There's there's one variety of LMG. There, there, there is one kind of LMG, and like it, it didn't. None of them appeared for a while, and so the LMG that I was using was like super underpowered. So I just focused on the shotgun, hundred percent. And now later into the game, I started finding LMGs that were like at my level again that I can actually use. But I still just prefer the shotty. Where is all my clothes? <laughs> Why am I not wearing any clothes? It must have like taken my clothes to put me in an outfit for some mission, and then just never put it back. Bone. I think I've heard of Bone. I remember Bone. <laughs> I don't think we have any mods in the chat right now, but we're going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, ban this nice guy because he's not being very nice. <laughs> Bye.
Happy New Year, my guy. Already listened to Moa Moa by Drive yet? No, I haven't. Keep reminding me. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Happy New Year to you, too. Are you on the Discord, Aaron? You should really send it in sick music and like tag me or something like that. That, that, would, that would definitely help me to remember to check it out. I'm so pretty excited that the author of One Punch Man is making his own anime studio. He is? I didn't know that. <laughs> Sounds good, Aaron. Fine with me. Fuck, what was I wearing before? I, don't, I think I had an armor one on my chest. A lot of the clothes is like, uploads quick hacks more quickly, and I don't even use quick hacks, so it's like useless. It's fair to assume you're largely into single player games, if not social games, but not competitive. No, I don't like competitive multiplayer. I'm not, I'm not a competitive. Well, okay. I am a competitive person, which is a problem. I'm, 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 I'm definitely a sore loser. I don't, I don't like take, I don't take losing well. And it gets to a point where, um, multiplayer games become like a chore and become like not fun to play. So that's, I just don't play them or multiplayer competitive games at least. So there are, it, when it comes to like multiplayer games that are co-op, I'm very into a good co-op game. Love me a good co-op game, but not, not, not competitive games. Mac loves playing a company like a PVP game. <laughs> I do get kind of competitive about it because you always get most profitable but you get it when you're dead too. You get it when you didn't do anything. The game is the the game just gives it to you for free. It's bullshit. <laughs> I gotta drop some crap guns. So I have room. Why did it just skip down the menu? Can you smash, bro? I have played Smash, if that's what you're asking me. What am I doing here? Okay, I'm looking for a prototype emitting the signal. Anytime I see mannequins in games, I just assume they're going to attack me, which is lit. Online games nowadays want you to be 9 to 5 of the game to, the game to get the same level as other players. There, there's a very frustrating trend in gaming right now where like every, every per, uh, publisher wants to have their own destiny. And so there's like a million live, uh, live action. That's not what it's called. Shut up. I'm, I'm busy talking to chat. What are they called? Live service. Live service games. There's like a million live service games coming out. And it's like, who has time for a, a dozen live service games? I, I have time in my schedule for like two live service games at most. How about, how about we make some more, like, contained experiences that can actually be finished? How about that? Can we do more of that? You, over here. What the hell do you want? <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. By the way, guys, if we have a like this stream, please do that. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? Oh. Maybe. They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. 
Mm-hmm. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hasan Demir, Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the scab ambush. Fixer didn't mention a rescue op. Only the prototype. You got it? Oh, I have it. Wait, wait, wait. Telling me you planted that tech in your own damn skull? Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. So what, do I gotta oh, shoot off the lock or something? This one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. How do you think you got in my course, skull, dummy? Unless Zeta Tech forced him into it. Made a guinea pig out of it. One really awkward thing about the way Cyberpunk is written is that it is very <laughs> funny how conversations will just pause to, to let Johnny monologue. Like, Shouldn't no one really around you is ever like, you good, bro, when you just go silent for a few minutes? <laughs> Warframe is my live service game. Warframe is a lot of people's live service game. Not me, but... Prototech's capricious. Erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer. Sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech. All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototech. Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? I ain't got a key, brother, just a big shotgun. Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull. No, the the NPCs never talk over Johnny. I'll tell you what I told those They, they just they just stop talking there for a bit. No way to <laughs> it's very funny. Of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. It's condition? Whole another gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. You know, Shonen Anime does a good job playing either sad or happy songs at certain times when it's necessary. That's not really like a Shonen thing. That's more of like a directorial thing, I'd say. We can't waste time. What's your record for stream viewers? I don't know. I mean, I, I've, I've certainly broken it this year at some point. Probably something in the 50s, if I was to guess. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. It would be. I, I. I wish they did, did something funny with the place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Bypass the security. Bypass the security. Can I not do that? Hang on. I saw. Shit. Okay. Can't do that. Nothing's gonna go wrong while I go get this key card. I'm sure of that. Just turn off the cameras. Not they're doing much right now. I'm trying to ransom this fella. Guys, do not be alarmed. My cat is currently taking a shit. It's pretty exciting. What what did what did scanning this chap do? I just thought the type of anime or manga depended on the protagonist and not the viewers. No, Shonen. It's it, Shonen specifically refers to the target audience it just so happens that the target audience tends to attract certain themes so people tend to refer to anything anything action oriented as shonen even though that's not really correct so <laughs> having sound direction is like basically an anime you'd think that but <laughs> one piece is huge and look at that Sounds like fucking shit. Uh.
Find the passcode. Let me check these. Pa Let me check this again. And maybe there's something on here. Codes and passwords. Two, yeah, seven, just like five, that. Three. Just like that. They always just leave it on a computer waiting for you to find. I've never seen a non battle manga be called a shonen. Even though there are plenty of shonen that are not fighting themed. And there's a reason they run in Shonen Jump, right? Okay, where's the like console to there it is? Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Give me your pants. <laughs> How do you know where these schema docs are at? Give me your They're pants, watching. they look expensive. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh -huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. <clears throat> you can you can say is a common trope is shown, shown protagonists are usually underdogs and are not very bright and they gradually get power through the series. Yeah, so that's again it comes down to like the um, the target audience, right? So the target audience Jesus. for Shonen is like is that young men, Harry. and so usually the, 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 the protagonist is like a 15, 16 it's year old because that's who they Harry. want reading it. So they want like a protagonist that they'll relate to in terms of age. Then they make them horny. I suppose this would because have been my teenagers are horny. If you hadn't shown up. Burned and they make them tech. dumb, because kids are dumb. Nearly burned here. <sighs> but we have seen a bit of a flip of that. Of that, you know, A lot of newer shonen are, are focusing on characters that don't fall into those tropes. You know, Kaiju number 8 is coming out in spring next year. And Kaiju number 8's main character is 33, I believe? He is not a teenage boy. He is still kind of dumb. Zeta, Zeta Tech Santa right, right. Vista, huh? This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. I probably don't need it because I like my I like the one oh. I have, but I just want to check it out. Yeah, it's not even it's not even a legendary. Only 30% time slow. Lame. Wait. Prem, got it. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Wait, I heard you slaughtering them, which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? <laughs> Kaiju's main character pays bills, the therefore he can solo I've Goku. The yeah, so Kafka worked a blue-collar job for years. We'll this dude's got a leg up on any Shonen pro tag. To no risk. See, not as burdensome as you thought I was. Luffy definitely has no character drama and he's still a blabbering fool. I don't think you know as much about One Piece as you'd think you do, Flanders. If you can't tell the difference between early Luffy and new and, and, and current Luffy, especially post time skip when he tends to be more considerate and uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, uh, uh, He's less dumb. He's not as dumb post time skip. It's time we Still were dumb, not as dumb. A couple more steps. Be it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. If they don't follow it, trope, usually the series can be pretty dark. To say it's for a younger demographic. I think your segment on Tanjo almost applies to Luffy one to one. Hard disagree, Flanders. What is what is up with you and your takes on One Piece, brother? Luffy is a very flawed character. Luffy is very imperfect. This guy's Hassan. Yo, dude. You should react to my video. Should be safe here. Ah, I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Why, you think Should we're think safe now? We're 20 like feet away from where we were. Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? 
get no There's no reason to change the beginning of the series and never get a reason one. to. Again, I really don't want to get into One Piece debates on stream because it's it's stupid. But that is so fucking wrong. It's unbelievable. <laughs> did you not? Did you miss the part in 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 the middle of of Shibondi Archipelago when all of his friends got deleted and Luffy had a meltdown about how he couldn't protect them? Did you did you miss the end of the Paramount War pre time skip when Luffy almost lost himself? Did you miss the part where post time skip he's become a much more responsible captain who actually fills the role of a captain much better than he ever did before? Have you have we read the same series? Are we talking about the same thing? <clears throat> I used to think One Piece was overhyped back then, but then I read heard the manga was the best selling in Japan. I reconsidered. It's very good. One Piece needs more fan service. I don't know about that. <laughs> An answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh, uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I... I think there's, there's a pretty big difference between a completely static character and a character who is not extremely dynamic. Luffy is a static character. He doesn't change a lot, but there's a, you know, he does change, first of all. There, there is character growth there. And also, so this is why I make videos instead of talking on live stream, because I'm better able to formulate my thoughts when I can write them down. But Luffy, as a character, doesn't need to be super dynamic because the world around him is super dynamic. The world around him is very, very dynamic. You know, not, not every main character needs to be super dynamic. There does be, don't seem, need, need to be some level of character writing and some level of character growth, and Luffy does have that. But no, he's not a super dynamic character, and not being a dynamic character does not make him a bad character. Just popping in real quick to like the stream. What an absolute legend. Thank you, Goblin. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Remember when Luffy declared war on the entire government in Eddie's lobby? He sure did. Shonen has more about reasons to reasons to things, not just combat. It's reason for fighting and not just for the sake of fighting for a reason. I understand that very reason what makes the main drive. I'm a little confused what you're saying, but I think I get it. Had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it it would be a death sentence. I have a problem when stories pretend that a character is dynamic. You know, that's that's a problem that I have with Demon Slayer, is that they pretend Tanjo changes, and they pretend Tanjo goes through all this shit, but he doesn't. One Piece, they don't pretend Luffy changes. In fact, they make a point of how he is a very stubborn person. Yeah, thank you, Iki, exactly. It's a static main character in a static world. Like, that's, that's two things time. that don't match up well. I'm good, Pumpkin Jack. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for liking on the way in. Does liking the video help a lot? Yes, yeah, so the more people that like the stream, the more likely it is to get recommended people who uh, could be watching it. So liking the stream does do a lot. Wait. How in the hell did you think that was going to go? I tell my fixer, sorry, shit out of luck. Prototype bounced. Just say it got lost. Moved. I don't know. I cut the signal. Your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You nah. can not even fuck. Should have schemed a little harder for you squirmed into a Sakazeta scavenger shit witch. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you for you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. No, I need the tech. Doing it my way, calling my fixer. You, sit tight and shut up. Right, okay. I beg you, please don't send me back to the corp. Hands I'm gonna do it. Sitch got tangled, rescued his aid tech hostage, sole survivor of a scav ambush. I see. 
This impedes your assignment how, exactly? Well, my chum here planted the prototype in his eye socket. Gonna need a ride. Inconvenient, but not disastrous. Coordinates, please. His escort back to Zeta Tech will arrive shortly. Sending him now. I have no sympathy for this dude, <laughs> honestly. I'm sending him back. <laughs> Bye, fellas. Hands in. Here for the schematics. Yeah, here you go. Preen. I'll take it from here. Attention, all Dogtown residents. This is Kurt Hansen. The sly bastard survived an ambush, gave scabs a slip, and bamboozled a corp, but at some point. Everyone's luck runs out. Do you have any thoughts on modern translation companies and publishers like Viz or Dark Horse? Not really. Uh, there's obviously ones that are better than worse. Commendable work, V. My people will take it from here as per our agreement. Expect your compensation shortly. Thank you. Level 50, boys. It has been reached. I hope you know Luffy. I think something that I think that people tend to just ascribe to Luffy rather than um, I don't know recognizing the reality of it is is people treat it like Luffy wants to be the strongest. People treat it like Luffy wants to be the best because that's what we're talking about in the chat right now. But Luffy's dream is to be uh, the most free person on the sea, and that doesn't necessarily mean being the strongest. It just means you know. He, he views the Pirate King as the freest person on the sea. That's why he wants to reach the, the One Piece. Now, needing to be strong is essentially an occupational hazard of that. <laughs> Luffy needing to be a powerful person and me, needing to be the strongest is, a, is something that he views as necessary to get what he wants, but it is not his desire to be the strongest. That's right. We still don't know his full dream, but my belief is that it's very connected to what we already know about him. I don't think when we find out Luffy's full dream, it's going to be some big surprise. I think it's going to be like, yeah, that, that makes sense. I feel like I'm missing out with One Piece as I've never read the manga or watched the show. Is it that good? Uh, yes, One Piece is my favorite manga. I love it to death. Uh, do not watch the anime. <laughs> read the manga. I thought it was King of the Pirates. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does want to be the King of the Pirates because he views the King of the Pirates as the freest person on the sea. <laughs> that's what he thinks the King of the Pirates is, so that's what he wants to be. I also, I've always taken issue with the, with the uh, translation. So we, we, someone asked me about translation just a minute ago. I've always taken issue with the, um, with the, uh, king of the pirates title rather than translated as pirate king because king of the pirates to me sounds like the person who is above all other pirates whereas pirate king sounds like the greatest pirate that's what luffy wants to be luffy wants to be pirate king not king of the pirates isn't there an anime remake of one piece from scratch yes they have announced that but we don't know if it'll be good yet Please tell me, the, tell me the horribly distributed plastic stick figures in the female cast are an anime-only thing. Um, it is not an anime-only thing, but the anime makes it much worse. You, you, it's hard to imagine that, right? It's hard to imagine that, but, but the anime somehow like distorts the proportions even worse. I'll try reading the manga instead of watching the anime, lol. I do highly recommend doing that. You say it like that, it makes more sense. That's why I never liked that translation. King of the Pirates just doesn't sound right. He wants to be Pirate King. It's different. It has a different connotation, if you ask me. Why can't I call my car? Now I can. I need somewhere to sell stuff. I 
Um, I think I can walk to that one actually. Yeah. This is, the conversations like this make me want to uh, start making a One Piece video. <laughs> Congrats to the Mac for getting one and only Idris Elba to co-host your stream. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool to get, get to be able to collaborate with him like that, huh? Pretty lit. One of One Piece art style still kind of has that skinny body, big chest thing, but it still seemed much more tame back then. It definitely was not as bad at, at, in the beginning. I... I, there's always this misconception whenever I talk about One Piece that people are like, oh, he loves everything about One Piece and 100% uh, subscribes to everything that it does. But that's simply not how it works. You can love something despite its flaws. And I am personally not a fan of the way that Oda draws women. I actually think Oda doesn't draw women well. I don't, I don't, I don't personally find the way he draws women attractive. It's, it's not like they don't look good. Maybe that is just me. I mean, I know it's just me because there's a shit ton of hentai of the characters, but like, I the the the, the current arc, the the current arc, everyone's been like, oh, this is this is Oda showing off how much he likes asses because he he like been he's been drawing a lot of butt shots, and I'm just like, Oda does not know how to draw butts. <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, Game Channel. Congratulations. Oh, you already, I already read that one. Hope you're having a great new year. Hope you had a great last year, too. Mac wants to be the YouTuber king, not king of the YouTubers. He's just in this East Blue phase right now. <laughs> yeah, sure. From that perspective of his dream being childish, you could also say the same about Naruto, considering he only wanted to be Hokkaido to be acknowledged. Yeah, I mean, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Like, your motivation being relatively simple and, and childish actually leaves a lot of room to do something with it, I feel like. Oh, I picked up a lot of iconic guns. I'm gonna throw up. Let's see how much money I make off of this. I might empty out the, I didn't realize drop points had a limited amount of money on them. I'm just now noticing that there's this indicator up here and I'm getting really low on it. <laughs> might need to go to a different drop point. I might've, I might've collected too many things. So I got a lot of clothes to get rid of. No, don't get rid of that, I need that. I gotta keep the full outfits because for some reason those don't save like the rest of the clothes does. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't quite run out, but it got awfully close. Uh, do I have any junk I need to get rid of? Sometimes I pick up crap I don't need. No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's see how much money I just made. $300,000. <laughs> see, that's why you hold off on selling until, you, until your inventory is full, because it's really satisfying doing that. How long is this game? Uh, I mean, it depends on how much of the game you play. My first playthrough took me like 25 hours, but my second playthrough took me like 50. Naruto's supposed to be a dark horse character. He's supposed to be, go through a lot of hardships to get stronger. That's why he was still very strong compared to most characters in the series. My, my take on Naruto, I don't like Naruto that much as a whole, but my take on Naruto is that Naruto got to be, got to be a much more boring character after... Um, the time skip. I, I actually really liked Kid Naruto. Like, yes, he was annoying, and yes, he could be really frustrating at times, but it was endearing, right? It was endearing seeing him try his best and, and fuck up. And then you do the time skip, and he's just kind of a good boy. It's kind of boring. I personally really, really liked Naruto in the very beginning of the series and thought he... I fucking just got my car stuck. Um, I thought he got really boring after the time skip. Is there a drop nearby that these guys are protecting? What are they doing here? Is 
He's a dad. Lol, he's supposed to be boring now. He's an old- No, not- not Boruto Naruto. I'm talking about Naruto Naruto. I'm talking about Naruto Shippuden Naruto. That's the time skip I'm talking about. The, like, three years between Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Naruto Shippuden, uh, Naruto is a much mo more boring character than- than base Naruto. Why am I getting shot at? All I'm doing is driving. I'm out of here. This place is crazy. This town is crazy. And also saying he's he's supposed to be boring because he's a dad now, that's super offensive to all the cool dads out there. That's fucked up. Never the same as you were years ago. Yeah, but you don't get perpetually more boring. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm actually a much more interesting person than I was, uh, when I was a teenager. <laughs> are you a dad? Why are you getting defensive, old man? Hell no. I'll never have kids. Cat dad? I am a cat dad, that's true. That's 100% true. I, I babied the shit out of that cat. I'm actually such a fucking loser when it comes to me and my cat. I, I When I talk to her, I refer to myself as Papa. She's my little girl. She's my little baby. V. Two NCPD officers are in need of rescue. And who but you could save those sworn to protect us? Now, these two little piggies went to market, struck a deal with one of Hansen's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, you think? Correct. Everything. Stella, the fiancé of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. Alright, save, save some cops. That won't negatively impact my rep at all. What, what are you doing? What the fuck is this? Get in. What if I don't? <laughs> Something that I noticed about Jonathan is that the female Cade characters are ones poorly written. Yeah, if you ever heard of the Get Bechdel in. test, just look it up, and most female characters in Jonathan apply uh, can be applied to it. Um, Uh, who do you commission for your thumbnails? I commission an old fan of the channel who generally prefers to stay anonymous. I don't want to like give away her information, but Stella? I didn't say all shonen human. You're right. Uh, Chance Man does have good, well-written characters, but a lot of shonen don't. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, sure. That's nice. We're lying together. I need your help with my fiance Bill and his buddy Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both in CPD. Both grade A gonks too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. You don't like female characters that only exist to serve as potential love interests for the, for, for the protagonist, Mac? Absolutely. Let's talk about Ochako from, from My Hero Academia. What, what, what a fucking waste of a character. Ochako is a legitimately like, interesting character who had you know, her own motivations, and her entire character arc turned into... I'm in love with Izuku, and all of my actions are related to that. What a fucking waste. I hate that shit. Female characters should be able to be actual human beings and be actual people instead of just being in service to the protagonist. Why is Dodger got you all shaken at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hansen. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. 
Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upside's a last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. You had to choose between chips and fries, which would you choose? Mac, definitely fries. Definitely fries. I like a good chip, don't get me wrong, but I'm a fry guy. So I'm supposed to not murder everybody in sight, right? That's gonna be hard, considering that's how my entire build is built. Hey, everybody! This is gonna be tough for me. No one here. Alright, I'm not supposed to kill them. Okay, alright, well, we tried. <laughs> Switch to the shotgun, dummy! I tried for all of two seconds, you have to give me credit for that! Two seconds is a lot of time when you're in slowed down time, all right? I, I really tried my hardest. I think this dude is the one outside. Excuse me, do you have a moment to speak with me? I'm looking for a man named Charles. Do you know him? I don't think he knows him. Back with the intrusive thoughts. And no, I did my best. I did my best, guys. It's just like my character has no stealth capabilities whatsoever. None. I, I I'm not expecting the stealth even remotely. You know, there's a whole there's a whole component of this game where you can hack things to distract enemies or like hack the enemies themselves. My character doesn't even have the capability to hack things. I ripped the the the, the ability to hack out of my skull and replaced it with the ability to slow down time. Okay. I built this character to destroy shit, and that's what it does. But if you ask me to stealth things, it doesn't work. Maybe this is the best stealth augment though. I mean, it certainly can be used for stealth, but mine ain't. <laughs> Florida man. Yeah, exactly. You get it. Old precinct's basement. Got it. You built your character to go as apeshit as possible? Exactly. Yes. Precisely. And like, okay. I'm specced into shotguns. I do a shit ton of damage with shotguns, okay? Like, like, that's, that's one thing. Um, I have a hand... Cyberware that makes it so my first shot after reloading from empty does like an electric burst. It's a double barreled shotgun, so most of half of my shots are reloading from empty. So there's there's that for damage. Um, if I take too much damage, I fire off an EMP blast. Sometimes after killing an enemy, I enter my berserker rage mode where everything goes red, and I just deal a fuck ton of criticals. Um, I can I can in, I can overload myself with cyberware so I can deal more damage. My arm has a goddamn grenade launcher. Everything about my character is built to hurt people. Can you say your, can your character wrestle an alligator? I think an alligator would run from my character. Christ's sake, there's a switch to the right. Use it. My right or your right? My fucking right. Pardon me. Hello. Can you let my friends out? Hello. Who's asking? Charlie or Bill? 
It's Charlie. So Stella did your character have the capacity to love. Yeah, I have a kid. I have a, I have an, I have an in-game girlfriend. Okay. Which is the best I can do. Better step back. Hello. Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? You're old. Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What hey, friends. You? Who's this? This is Bill. Hi, Bill. Nice to meet you. Hi. Who's your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, uh, I'm Bill. Thanks, I meant, Bill, got I meant, that. I meant the corpse. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella? We, we didn't kill What am I okay. seeing down there? We, we swear. There's some enemies through the floor. Hey, long as you're paying, I'm just looking at two innocent cops standing over a dead body. Go on. Tell her about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger. was rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You said drugs? Oh, you go. No, you. I swear oh, to Oh, they're having a love of spat. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of sin coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That even possible? So we're here. Sound like a nice Dodger, day. When Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could have had a food tube implant, like a deep, wide throat. Yeah, like the one your mom's got. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> even talking destroyed. about Bill. <laughs> Fucking destroyed, you idiot. Couldn't get him to just spit it out. We tried to make a trek. Oh, tr track it. Tr Fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? Stella was right. You two are bona fide jackasses. We panicked, all right? Shit happens. <sighs> it's, it's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you I can I can shoot him. You want me to shoot him? I'll Maybe shoot him. Now there's no thief or dope. Yeah, it's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. I believe it's called the tracheotomy when you put a hole in the throat so they can breathe. All right, let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and uh, kind of needed back. Oh, you're so needy. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage. It's we official, go. V. Finally made it to the major leagues. I thought that happened made when I got first you. First class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Well, Always Stella's gonna your kill answer. me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. No Hang on, guys. I saw some dudes in the floor. I'm pretty sure there's people what? down here. A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy. Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? Two eight nine three. It was two nine eight three. Idiot! It was two eight nine three. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Alright, fellas, now let me deal with this. Not a big deal, not a big problem, nothing I can't handle. No killing, I wasted everybody upstairs. It's too late. 
It's already been done, boys. Shit, another door. It's sealed tight. And of course, Game. I can't rip this one up open like I can do every other hey, door. This wasn't us, okay? Gotta be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in Eddie's bill. Oh no, no, I can. Pardon me! Just coming through with my friends Charlie and Bill. I hope you won't mind, fellas. Did I get some more shooting in that general direction? Yes, I did. Hi there, boys. Attack! It's made of Mac material. <laughs> Hurry up, you guys! Guys, you got you got you got to you got to stop fighting, okay? You don't want to ruin your friendship over something like this. I mean, come on, it's not that bad. I think I picked up some junk. Yeah, I did. Get out of my goddamn inventory. Monster Hunter World sounds like an open world from the title. I mean, so did Monster Hunter World, but it wasn't. And I don't really want it to be. Right through here. Great. You do there's, have a, there's a guy outside. Keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left him upstairs. Chill, Chum. Got him right here. Hello. We were just gonna leave if that's okay. Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Hi, my name is V. I have the ghost of a of a of a of, a, of an asshole Greetings, in my fellas. brain. Oh, I'm hardly. I'm sorry. I, I'd I'd like to do this whole dialogue, but I really have to piss. I'll be right back. What's going on? <laughs> God, this game is low-key boring. Flander, I think you and I just disagree about what good media is. Where are the copyright boys? I, I disabled them back when OBS kept crashing because I wasn't sure if, um, if it was causing the crashes and I haven't put them back in yet. Why are we talking about chimichangas and quesadillas? Well, Andrew's just a clown. I mean, he's he, he's got his opinions and he's he's entitled to them. He's not wrong for feeling the way that he does. It's just not how I feel. We, uh, we can explain. Why explain Why? when I could shoot him in the skull? You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? I, th I think he pointed over here as if I was supposed to be standing over here. Name's V. Got no clue what I'm doing here. Honest. I like that. 
One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? I like this guy's voice uh, actor. Yeah, well, uh, no, not us, per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Uh, um, uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, you guys are terrible stuff liars. Holy uh, shit. Left it all upstairs, so it's all good. Another smooth talker. All right, third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? I, I kind of like this guy, so I'm just gonna. Don't need me to answer that. You're right. I don't. Charlie, Bill, just tell him what happened. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, we caught the gawk who clipped your seven ounces, brought him back here. Problem is, he, uh, he ate the product. He ate the. Swallowed whole. Seven ounces? In front of you? Uh, it was so quick we didn't have time to react. We, we tried taking it out, but, but... You did what now? Um... Hey, don't look at me. Wasn't there. Starting to wish I was. So spill what happened. And don't skip on the gory deeds. Dodger Seed is nice. He seems very understanding. We, we tried taking the stuff out f from him? Like, from the inside? Inside? I don't even. So all this blood. Wanted to get it back for you, but it all kind of, um, dissolved in him. You believe this shit? Savages, boss. Okay. I can shoot him at any that time. I've got the, I've got the red crosshairs. Hey, look, I'm just as stupefied as you are. Two gonks over here called me to pull him out of this clusterfuck. Let me get this straight now. You two fools let this scares back old Dion on your watch. Then slice him open after the queso blancos are ready dissolved. As if that's not enough, you hire a merc. Because you're scared you get two to the back of your skulls. I mean, that ain't wrong. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. Fucking bad. I like man. this guy. He's fun. Protect and serve my ass. That's why they call you NC's finest, huh? Finest to fuck up, am I right? Ah, wait till the boys hear this. I feel like this is gonna end peacefully. <laughs> Should have caught them on camera, boss. Right? So, we good? Sure. For now. Besides, I'd give a measly seven ounces for a story like that any day. You're free to go, officers. Oh, the check on the boys oh, upstairs. Oh, what out! Touche. Uh-oh, I kill those guys. <laughs> check their bio Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sigs are all flat, boss. Uh-oh. Scratch what I said. Afraid I can't let you go. You should have! You should have let us go! That was a mistake! You didn't know who you were <laughs> dealing with! I'm too powerful, man. I'm too much for these guys. You okay? Hey, where are the badges when you need them? Uh, yeah, right behind you. Is it over? It, yeah. You tell me, brother. Nothing left but to hop in your ride, flee the scene. I'm sure, you can manage that much. Thanks. You could have tried the quiet route. No, I couldn't have. I told you. I told you. I can't. My character is not built for stuff. My character is built for this. This is what I built for. I didn't build for. They just ran me over. Are you? I saved your lives. You ran me over. I'm tempted to go after them now. So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? I swear to Christ, if someone asks me one more time. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Hey, hold, hang on a sec, Hans. 
Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. You know, you're, you're powerful when the consequence of your actions lead to you killing instead of you getting killed. <laughs> yeah, and we talked our way out of that just fine, but then they were like, oh, this, this motherfucker done killed all my guys. That sucks. I was going to take that car, but I don't feel like chasing him down. That sucks. I liked Dodger. I was prepared to just let bygones be bygones and call it a day. Dude was too attached to his goons that go down like paper. Okay, it's like, it's, it's like paper if you toss a light weight at it, you know? It's just going to rip right in half. That was his men, and him, actually. See what happened to that dude? One shot to the skull, and he's gone. That sucks. Don't know what to tell you, Dodger. Shouldn't have messed with B. <laughs> Dodger was a real gooner, so to speak. <laughs> I forgot I had a bunch of uh, uh, stuff in my inventory that I wanted to stash, so let's take care of that. Bunch of iconic weapons. I have a lot of iconic weapons that I just have never used because they're always too weak. Everything is always too weak for me. I think no person on there survives a Goss shotgun. There was that guy earlier who survived a few shots. He didn't survive in the wrong, long run, but he did survive. Hey, Death Lord, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for liking on your main. I appreciate that. Heavy Hearts. The building is a large imitation pyramid. I dare say you can't miss it. The elevator access code as well. 2589. Got it. I sure am, Death Lord, and having a great time. Iconic worm gun. No, I don't think so. My day's been pretty good. I can't complain. I had a good day at work. Uh, I spent a lot of time researching Japanese history today for a video that I'm working on. Um, and it was pretty interesting, you know. Uh, you only learn so much about the history of other countries when you live in the country that you live in. So it's, it's always interesting learning about history from other places and what fed into it, you know. I really wish there were times, more moments where you go, 50 Street Cred, yeah, they're all dead and you're going to walk away. You're, you're going to walk away unlike them. I wish, I wish your character level and your feats played into interactions with other characters more. That would definitely be cool. I just woke up. It's 4 a.m., so I guess I'm going to be here. Cool, very nice. How'd you sleep? Was it good? I, I slept really poorly the night before last. It took me like three hours to get to sleep. And then last night, I slept fine for six hours. And I woke up and I couldn't fall asleep for another hour and a half. So my sleep's been a little fucked lately. Also, my uh, frame rate's a little fucked right now. It's pretty cool. Japanese history is one of the best with the amount of morale, moral and backstabbing that happens there. It's interesting to hear about. I, I think, you know, the, the isolationist period and what led to its ending is very interesting. You've seen Lizzie Wizzy. Here. Hey, you there. What the hell do you want? This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Whatever you say, pussy. Wow, this is a nice place. I can't pull my gun out. I was about to. <laughs> See, but like, okay, so there, there's two there's two sides of this, right? There's the side where like it kind of sucks that I can't bring my gun out and, and go crazy just for a little bit of fun. But the, 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 there's the other side where I appreciate that they just don't let me shoot in here instead of the Starfield philosophy where just nobody cares if you shoot at them. I gotta get my sleep schedule fixed. I, uh, I've been really bad about waking up on time lately, which has not been great. So I'm, I, I need to pick up a new alarm because my old alarm is busted, which is why I have been having trouble waking up on time. I gotta pick up a new alarm. Why would you go to a club at 6.30 AM? That's the twilight hours. 
I find other characters not taking an action they know would be antithetical to their goals. Yeah, like that's that's fine. If you're just like you can't pull out a gun here because it would be a bad idea. Fine. Letting me pull out a gun and having no character react to it is is not okay. That's that's very different. I get home. Can that be our deal? Yo's father must get back to work now. Okay. Okay. Ah, I'm talking to his child. This isn't V. V. This dude's got one a hell of a beard. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted. Right about that, Talca. He's dripped the fuck out. Handsome. Excellent work. Precisely as requested. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect to see the man behind the hollow curtain. What a handsome it was man. Mr. God Hans damn. Flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Couldn't have much of a choice. I didn't even want to. Professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision. I've not played Baldur's Gate 3 yet. I really want to. In person. Just haven't a had the time. Occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like Very you, unfortunate I wager right I'd that. have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done. It's a nice teapot. That's a gigantic... <laughs> oh, that's Working not a mug. with bona fide <laughs> professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not I'd seem buy an F all that from clear him. from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Mac, are you having the same feeling about Ball BD3? In that, because we both haven't played so many D&D games, we feel like we know BD3 is great, but we just might not have know how good it is because we can't compare it. Uh, I guess so. I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. I have played D&D, &D, though. Talk. So Time waits for even if I haven't played, like, D&D &D games, I've played a good amount of D&D, &D, but I, I don't know. It's, it's I'm looking for an RPG experience out of Baldur's Gate 3. If it, if it delivers that, I'll be happy. And I, from what I understand, it does. Tried and Co-op, it's a blast with friends. I played uh, Divinity the Original Sin 2, a pretty amount, a good amount of that co-op, and that, that was a lot of fun. Talk. Time waits for no man. Appreciate you, Bill. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for liking the stream, everybody, by the way. Appreciate you, Bill, for doing that before you left. Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hanson at the helm? Hanson wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business trying. I saw the liquid just shoot away from the mug. My dude tried to do something cool and fucked it up and he's just blend. playing it off. Sure, why not? I'd love to try Mr. Hand's so, tea. How did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? I tried to play The Witcher 3. I couldn't get into it. I know the writing's good and all, but I hated the way it played. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. That golden Hansen's teeth? force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone. He's fake describing Caleb. <laughs> and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. 
Wow, it's impressive. You have some cats up there? Those are some Maroon big cats, bro. Was. Two weeks nice. for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. It's all well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part? You know, continue you strength, yours. hammer man, Elden ah, Ring run. Got indeed. a good night. Yes. Appreciate you, Rexley. Have a good night and good luck with the Black that. Sapphire. Hanson stronghold guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo and full Didn't I already do your quid pro quo by doing a bunch of jobs for you? The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, uh -oh. the data... I'll be right back, everybody. was very bad. Why did you do that, Luna? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? That's so naughty. Don't do that. My, my cat, who is normally very well behaved, just knocked down my beloved bonsai tree and knocked all of the dirt out of it, bent the shit out of it. And now I gotta end stream early so I can go fix it because my plant's gonna die if I don't repot it. So let's finish this conversation with 
horse fucker, and then I'll, I have to go deal with that. Its source are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire and Phone Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. No, don't you come over here looking all cute and innocent. I'm mad at you. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm mad at you. Why'd you do that? Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? Doing my best. You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. I, I know you guys are saying you're okay with waiting, but it's gonna take me a while to fix this. It's 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 a fucking mess. The the, the tree is practically depotted. I have to I have to redo it basically. I'm sorry, you're coming in at a bad time, Ocean Lizard. My cat just knocked down my bonsai tree, and I have to go fix it. And I, I gotta end the stream. I'm really sorry, everybody. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I appreciate the likes. Appreciate the love. Thanks for watching. You all are legends. I'm so sorry to end stream early. I'm very pissed off right now. I'm very upset. I hope I can save my tree. So, oh, I'm so mad at you, Luna. Why did you do that? Oh, she's usually so well.